Hey everyone, just wanted to say thank you again for all the subs I've been getting over the past week. I am very grateful. It is really weird. Uh, I didn't think this would happen all so suddenly, but I'm here for it. Uh, I think, honestly, soon, soon enough I'll be at 500, which I thought was going to take me a whole year to get to, but it might just take me a few months or so. Uh, but today, I wanted to go over the Infinite Wealth Bundles. If you haven't already pre-ordered the game, uh, I wanted to share with you what you are really getting when you buy the Deluxe and Ultimate Edition. Before I go into that, uh, did you guys see the new ad for Infinite Wealth? The new one with Drewski? Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a comedian who is known for making skits, and now he does a lot of other things. Uh, I think music as well, I think. Seeing a legit ad for this for Like a Dragon is kind of crazy. Were there any ads like this for the other games? I'll have to look into that, I guess. Because I don't remember there being such a... I don't know how to ex explain it, like normal ad for it. But if you saw that, I just thought it was a cute little commercial that they did. Anyways, if you are planning on buying Infinite Wealth, I want to share what you should know before putting all that money down. For me, I could only afford the base game, sadly. Uh, the base game is $70, which I know $70 is a huge deal now, but I think for what the game is offering us and how much content there is, I think personally the price tag is justified. I mean, the story is going to be 100 hours, and not including the side content. I mean, that is... I mean, some games nowadays are like 6 hours and they're $70, so come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Except... Guess what? There's no New Game Plus in the base version. I can't really defend that part. Uh, but yep, that's right. If you didn't already know, they have paywalled the New Game Plus. Uh, some of you probably knew this already for a while, but I'm sure there are people who still don't know, so I want to share that info with you. Uh, let's go over what these additions offer. Base game, of course, is just the full game. Deluxe edition has the Master Vacation Bundle, which includes a bonus dungeon, special Sujimon, new outfits, extra resort guests, and of course, the new Game Plus, and more, it says. And the price tag for that, the base game, and the Master Vacation Bundle, is $84.99. $84.99. If New Game Plus was with the base game, I wouldn't have issues with these additions. But the fact that they would paywall the New Game Plus that everyone needs... Especially with how huge this game is, it's completely unacceptable. I was hoping it was misinfo, maybe we misunderstood, but it has, I mean, we're only 13 days away, uh, so I don't think that was misinfo. I think we would know that by now, but it looks like, yep, New Game Plus you have to pay for, which, I don't know, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes that at all. Uh, and the Ultimate Edition comes with the base game, of course, the full game. Uh, the Master Vacation Bundle, like the Deluxe version, plus an assorted outfit pack, which is new outfits for your party members, uh, Sujimon Battle, and Special Resort Pack, which I guess is more Sujimon, uh, Legendary Sujimon, and again, more resort guests, and these special boosters, and the Yakuza CD Collection Pack. Uh, that contains tracks that will increase your in-game playlist, which I do think is cool. Uh, probably the only one I really want. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, the outfits are going to be cool, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. But I think I would uh, definitely buy that later on. <laughs> and the price tag for this, the Ultimate Edition, is $109.99. It's pretty steep, uh, if you ask me. But I'll say it again, these prices wouldn't feel as harsh if New Game Plus was just in the base game. I mean, trust me, the prices are still a little bit much, but I don't think it would be... I don't think people would be as upset if they would just include a New Game Plus, which should be in the full game already. I don't know, I feel like that's a right that everyone should have, you know? But let's hope they never do this again. I kind of doubt it. I think they've done this before where they've paid walled the New Game Plus. It's just silly. But anything for a bigger profit, I guess. And now you're probably wondering and worried if you can still get these add-ons even if you don't pre-order. And yeah, you probably can. 
Uh, so I wouldn't worry too much if you can't afford these add-ons now. They did that with Gaiden, where the pre-order items you could just still buy it even after the game's release, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I think the other games were like that too. If you couldn't buy it then, you can buy it later. I just think it's a slightly better deal if you buy it. Like, I think it's maybe like two bucks cheaper. I don't know. It's only like a little bit cheaper if you buy it with buy it with a game. I mean, I don't think I'll really need new game plus immediately. Still, the point still stands that it's sort of a ripoff that they paywalled it. And again, I was really hoping I was wrong about this. I wanted to give it time, but no one has said anything otherwise. And on their own website, it says new game plus with the deluxe edition. It's it's stupid. It's just stupid. Also, uh, I just wanted to point out, uh, I checked the available storage you'll need for the game. It looks like 82 gigabytes are needed. Um, so I'm assuming it's probably like a, what, 70 gig game, uh, which is not as big as I was expecting since I'm used to games nowadays needing over 100 gigabytes of space. I mean, like, it's a little ridiculous. I, I think GTA 5 is like 100 gigabytes. Red Dead 2 was, was that like 110? That's insanity. I, I don't know why games are really that huge. I feel like you could condense all that and it would still be fine. Anyways, I'm glad that this game won't completely take over my entire hard drive. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video as sort of a warning too. I personally would just buy the base game. And if you really need to, I guess the deluxe edition now but honestly i would just wait you're gonna have a lot of time to get through this game make sure you can afford it <laughs> but yep only 13 days away now currently can't believe it's already been a few months since the gaiden passed and now we're already on to the next game and i think uh they also talked about how they're gonna announce something else this year with rgg so i wonder what it could be maybe another uh remake, remaster, we'll see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and to check out my card in the description. It has all my info you need, like Twitter and my Ko-Fi account if you want to support me through there as well. I'll catch you guys later.